Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Comment, like, and sharing. Go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. Comment, like, and sharing. Go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. Comment, like, and sharing. Go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. <laughs> okay, you guys. I was playing around with our two little jingles that we have and the one that I was trying to plug in. And you guys tell me how you feel about it in the comments afterwards, okay? Because anything less than that, you have lied to me. And I know you lied, period. Okay, you guys, once again, I've always told you today, Monday is my favorite day with you all because I don't have to be eating and crossing up my words and all of that, I could just sit here and have a conversation with you. Now, today, however, I do have, my neighbor made me a, I think it's called a apple upside down pie. It's really, really great. It has walnuts and stuff in it. So I am going to try to chew on it a little bit. Now, oh, thank you so much, Carla Harris. That's my neighbor. Love you. She's also a part of the Legion, you guys. Before I get too far into this, I have a few channels that I have to shout out. One very, 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 very special channel. PJ and SG, I love you, baby. You ride for me. I love you right back. I love you right back. Okay? I also want to shout out Mr. Willie Will. You guys, he's a great guy. He's um, trying to make goals. He's doing things. He's very positive. I love his channel. And I really, really, really do care about him as a person. I've learned him very, very quickly. However, you can tell a person's heart, you know, if you spend time with them, you know. Anyway, uh, I also want to shout out Nate and the boys. Nate, you're great. I hope you had a great time on your cruise. I'm glad you're back. And Mama's TV Review. I love you, girl. I love you for your support. You're so, 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 so good to me. Okay. Now, you guys, I guess you've seen by the title, you know, normally I call today story time. I'm going to get into it and let you know why I changed it. But now our day of me just to sit here and talk to you is going to be called Expressions with Loose Lips. Okay. I like it. That's what we're going to call it from now on is Expressions with Loose Lips. Okay. I also have a correction from yesterday's video. I told you guys I mixed up Rochelle Bailey and Cooking with Mo. They both de uh, they both deserve the gratitude and the thanks that I gave them. They're both super great and they support me so well. However, I told you that Rochelle Bailey found me uh, in some on someone else's channel, and that's not the truth. Rochelle Bailey came from Miss Donna's Journey, and she's a great supporter. So she still do the thanks and the gratitude that I gave her. However, the little story that I gave you was cooking with Mo. That brings me to the reason why we changed the expression and the thought for the day, which, like I said, I, some things come to me. This didn't come to me. This was a post that was on Facebook by Miss Natorsha Jones. She is my cousin. She's on my Facebook page. And therefore, she put this out there. And when she put it out there, I received it and I told her then that I was going to use it for today's um, expressions. Okay? So, but it was um, also backed up or confirmed um, with this particular thing. This kind of fits hand in hand with this particular thing I'm going to tell you. Cooking with Mo found me on a, in another content creator's live. I was not in the live myself. She was in the live and someone um, spoke that I am trying to be like another content creator or I'm trying to be another content creator. That could be, nothing could be further from the truth. Everything that I give you is genuine and it comes straight from me, from my own brain, my own ideas and my own work, e work ethic. Okay. So cooking with Mo, I thank you again. I look forward to a long relationship with you guys because I'm not going anywhere. I'm not going anywhere, okay? So, with that being said, the, um, the, the, um, y'all, I'm sorry. 
Y'all know I be hollering at Romeo. Now he always hit the jump on the table in my show again. So I had to try to scare him. Okay, get back to the subject. The thought of today, the expression of today is don't be jealous of people in their winning season because you don't know what they lost in their losing season. You guys, God, things come to us in seasons. You have a seasons of blessings. You have a seasons of winning. You have a seasons of losing. You have a seasons of heartache. All these things come to you in seasons. It's just the way it is. Okay? So why would you be jealous of someone in their winning season? Because you don't know what they lost in their losing season. Me in particular, I lost my job. I lost both of my parents in six months. I got hurt and hurt, uh, messed up my spine. And I could not walk for seven or eight months. Why would you be jealous of because it took all of that for me to settle down, get my mind together, concentrate on God, and find this mukbang world on YouTube for me to be here? Why would you try to tear me down in my winning season? Because my, sh my channel is growing rapidly. And I thank you guys again. Comment, like, and share, and go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. You guys, don't forget to let me know how you, how you like that. Okay, but anyway, I went through, excuse my language, but hell, I fought like hell to just have some normalcy to my life. Why would you want to destroy me? And you guys, that's not right. That's not right. I told you guys the other day when we were talking, the Bible says that it's not what you put into your body that is sinful. What you put into your body is not defiled. Excuse me, y'all. It's what comes out. It's what comes out of you that becomes defiled. You guys, the Bible said that the tongue is wicked. And the tongue has great power. Okay? Have you ever heard people say, don't speak things into existence? That's because your tongue, what you say, what you let out of your mouth. Let me tell you something. The devil can work on you all he wants to. All he wants to. But he's not God. Okay? He's not God. He may can put thoughts into your head. He may can try to influence you to make you do bad things. However, once you let it out of your mouth, once it comes out and is you have interjected it into the world, the devil can work with that. You guys, I am on here and I'm about nothing but positivity and loving people. I did not beg, beg, or wave for this particular person that's over here on my channel, watching my channel, to try to destroy me and pit me against other content creators. Especially when this particular content creator, we have nothing in common other than both being the same ethnic, ethnicity. And we both choose to live an alternate lifestyle. Other than that, we have nothing in common. We act nothing alike. It was just the de that person is allowing the devil to use them to try to pit he and I against each other. Well, I'm going to tell you something. I don't know what he's going to do. What I can tell you is I cannot give you that power over me. You cannot have that. No, you cannot. You guys... All of us receive blessings from God. All of us. But like I just told you, when, the, when you put it out, that's when it has the potential to be defiled. You guys, let's stop speaking negativity over each other. Let's stop doing that. 
It's not just about me. You guys collectively are a group of people that are called the Legion. You're my supporters and you're here because you invest and you buy into me. You invest your time into letting me come into your home every day and I don't want to mess that up. I don't want to be on here uh, spreading negativity and putting bad things out into the world because I don't know who what I'm doing is going to influence. What I do know is I've done this because I want people to understand that people that live alternate lifestyles, you, you do not have to live in shame. You can be who you are. You can be whom you are. Do you know, I know for a fact, and I'm hoping that I'm reaching as many as I can and touching as many as I can, because I was once a little boy that in the inside of me, things weren't like everybody else around me. Do you know how long I held that in the inside of me and I felt like something was wrong with me and I felt like that I had nowhere to go, that I was lost? You guys, if I can reach one person, just one, to make sure that they know that you do not have to do that because doing that leads to a lot of self-destruction. That's what it leads to. When you're not proud of whom you are, when you don't like the person that you are, you guys, there's no happiness in that. So I want to try to reach as many little boys or as many grown men or as many uh, little girls or as many grown women that I can to make you understand that you are special just like you are. Just like you are. Other people, as long as you're doing bad, if I had to start this YouTube channel and I had a, got to the point to where I am right now and it took me a year, no one would be upset. No one would be. Because it happened slowly and progressive and uh, I didn't get in their scope, so to speak. But because uh, my show, my, my channel, is growing quickly and becoming successful. And then now your eyes on me. I did nothing to either one of you. This particular content creator, I love him. I love his sound. I love his spirit. But come, let me tell you something. Come closer. A little bit closer. A little bit closer. I like me. I don't want to be anyone else. I like me. Look at me. I like me. It's not about what you see on the outside as pleasing as it could be. It's about what's on the inside of me. And what's on the inside of me is beautiful beyond measure. That's the part of me that I want you to see. You cannot be jealous of people in that winning seasons, you guys. I lost both of my parents, my mom and my dad in six months. I got hurt and could not take care of my child when she was three and a half, four years old. But now you're jealous and you be mean spirited to me because God has favor on my life. I told you guys before, I will not apologize for that ever. I will not do that. I'm sitting here. Whether I'm eating food or I have nothing but my Bible here like I do in our expressions now. Our expressions with loose lips. And I give you me. Only me. That's it. I just want to live, be happy, and be me. It just so happens that I started a YouTube channel. You guys, you can't be jealous hearted toward other people because in their win season because you just don't know what they lost in their losing season. Do you, I would trade this YouTube channel for, my, for one day with my mom or my dad. If I could just have one more day with them, just one more to make sure that they understood that I appreciated them, that I loved them, that I cared about them. You guys, that was a hard experience for me to go through. Losing both of my parents in six months. 
You don't know what a person has to lose in their losing season before they get to that win season. You just don't know, you guys. You just don't know. And like I said, when I said my prayer prior to coming on here and doing the expressions with loose lips, I just ask God to allow me and give me the right words to deliver the message to you that I'm trying to give to you. You guys, we as a people, that's all of us, that's no ethnicity. Anyway, there's no specific class of people. I'm speaking to all people that can hear my voice, see my face, or can hear my voice or see my face. Or someone who can't do either. You know, if they can just feel my energy. I just want to let them know that you're special and you don't have to be jealous hearted. You don't have to attack other people to make yourself feel good. That's cowardice. That's very, very cowardice. I'm not that way. And I'm not going to allow you to make me be that way. That's why I told you guys yesterday, cooking with Mo, you're special and dear to my heart, baby. Because you knew that once you got over here to my channel, I, I, I'm not trying to be like this, this other content creator. I'm myself. Totally. And there seems to be, that's the thing that is surrounding my channel all of a sudden. That's why I wanted to do this today because I don't want anyone... Not even one person to lose the focus of what living life in positive serenity means. It means day to day, no matter how bad your boss treats you at your job, you forgive, you be humble, and you still treat him, you treat him nicely. You respect him like you're supposed to. No matter how bad. The next content creator or your friend in the streets or your parents or anybody, no matter what they do to you, you can live your life. The one that you're in control of, you can live it positively, you guys. You don't have to be ugly. No matter what a person does to you, I have a forgiving heart. Let me tell you something. That don't mean... That I agree with. Turn the other cheek. About everything. Because. I can forgive you. And not deal with you anymore. Once I figure out. And I know for sure you're no good for my life. Or not necessarily no good. But that you are always going to cause complications. In my life. I don't care whom it is. I would rather forgive you. And remove myself from this situation that's hurting me. And let you live your best life. Comment. Comment. Comment, like, and share. Comment, like, and share. And go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. Seriously, you guys. I want you to know that I love you. I love you all. And I want you all to love all. Us all, including me, because you're going to be on the other side of the coin at the time. You guys, I just want to love people. I want people to love me. And that's it. And like I said, I just want that little boy or that little girl or that woman or that man that is trapped in the inside of themselves. And they, they are filled with anger and disappointment and Anguish, all these feelings, simply because they hide whom they are. It doesn't have to be hiding my particular lifestyle. But if you are, quote unquote, a normal or what society says is normal, or I'm going to say it this way. If you are a heterosexual man. And you dig it and you would like to go and get your nails done. Go get your nails done. That doesn't make you fit into another class. That doesn't change who you are. You're just a heterosexual man that likes for his hands to be 
manicured and well maintained. If that's who you are, that's who you are. That's why I said, how dare you allow other people to make you be whom they want you to be? You guys, I'll never agree with that. I would never, ever, ever agree with that. Be who you are because God made you perfect. Those are my expressions of loose lips for the day. I hope you guys have enjoyed. You know, we'll be back tomorrow with another mukbang. I think. I think. Yeah, I'm playing. We'll be back tomorrow with another mukbang, you guys. I have enjoyed you one more time. I hope you've enjoyed me. I hope this brings some joy and it's uplifting to someone to make sure that you understand that God loves you. God says he has no respect of no respect of a person. That means you are equal to me and I am equal to them. Legion, we're many. One more time, in closing, Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, y'all. Don't forget to comment, like, and share, and go on and take it for the team. Go on and take it for the team. Comment, like, and share, and go on and take it for the team. Y'all let me know how y'all like that. I love you all. Because anything less than that, you have lied to me. And I know you lied. Period. Bye-bye. See you next time.